record is a song called Death Vow. It's inspired by a film called Clive Barker's Lord of Illusions, which uh, stars Scott Bakula. I can spare you a lot of the details of the film because it would be a, a really long-winded winded video if I were to attempt to do that. But uh, within the film, there's a character who's um, a cult leader. It's kind of a Jim Jones meets Houdini type of character. Um, so not only is he a cult leader, but he's really good at magic and illusions. And um, there's a, a reoccurring theme with this character of uh, the, the promise of death. And that with the promise of death, we'll, um, as humans, have like our true identity revealed, which is basically just filth and shit. So, um, yeah, that's the, the promise of death or death vow. Not on the album is a song called "That Is Better," and uh, so I'm sure a lot of you probably would assume it is uh, inspired by a movie called Pet Cemetery. "That Is Better" is one of the very famous lines from this film, and uh, yeah, I just thought it it deserved to be uh, to be the inspiration behind a death metal song. And on the album is a song called Unto the Ninth. It's inspired by a John Carpenter movie called Prince of Darkness. Now, the title of this movie kind of says all you really need to know about the film. I'm incredibly long-winded, and I don't always make the most sense, so I'm going to spare you the details. Um, but the, the music to the song is very slow, it's very plotting, it's very chromatic, it's very eerie. Um, and to me, this brought to mind images of this film, because at the beginning of the movie, the Prince of Darkness is being... Um, it, it's in a fluid state and it's being contained in the basement of this church within a vessel. Um, and at some point in the film, the, um, the fluid is transferred into a, a human vessel and uh, possession occurs, all hell breaks loose, and it's complete chaos to the end of the film. Now there's a very clear B section to the song that's a lot more frantic than the beginning. And um, yeah, to me it just re it really reflected this film very well. Track 11 on the uh, compact disc of edition of the record is a cover song called His Eyes by a band called Pseudo Echo. And the song was originally written and recorded for the Friday the 13th Part 5 soundtrack. Uh, a couple years ago, uh, we had done an uh, Indiegogo campaign in Arsis, and one of the perks was that if you pledged X amount of dollars that we would do an arrangement and recording of a cover song of your choosing. So Brandon and I spent you know, a long weekend together, uh, you know, hammered out a couple cover arrangements of some songs. On my way back from that session, he, he texted me and he's just like, dude, I just found a song. At some point, we absolutely need to do a cover of this. And um, the song was Pseudo Echo, His Eyes. And the song is just, the way it's written, the tonality, the harmonies, the melody, is it's meant to be a death metal song, absolutely. Um, fast forward, you know, to this past year, we were uh, discussing different cover song ideas for, for the record. And this one just absolutely made the most sense. It was written for a horror film. Uh, every song in the album is inspired by a different horror film. And um, yeah, it just, it really fit the theme and the concept and ended up being a really fun arrangement of the song, in my opinion. Uh, Trevor from Black Dahlia Murder did some guest vocals and yeah, it's, it's good listen. Yeah. 